do I open a bank account in Dubai? Two seconds and we jump into the information. Hello everyone, my name is Maria Rubert, lawyer and arbitrator with a base in the UAE, uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And today I'm happy to share with you information that is very, very practical. In reality, today it takes time. It is very difficult to open a bank account in the UAE. Why? Because there is a, a tiny, a small thing called uh, the uh, UAE Central Bank that sets sets compliance requirements. So the information that they are going to be requiring from you as a person or from you as a company is significant. So in terms of timing, uh, today is taking between one month and nine months to open a bank account. Of course, the more you know about the requirements from different banks, the faster that you will be able to know where you fit better and where to present your applications first but you should be presenting different applications at the same time. It is very important that you know the requirements of each different uh, bank. In terms of banking, there are different options. You have traditional banks, you have uh, digital banks, you have foreign banks, you have foreign digital banks. So there are many, many options. Where do we start? We start by preparing our profile. And our profile can be as a person or can be as a company. What do you think that a bank wants to know about you as a person or about you as a company? They want to know who you are, what made you uh, the person you are, with the position that you have, or with the company that you have. How did your company get to be the company that you are today? So, uh, a bio, usually. Uh, you will want to also have bank statements. Where, where is your money coming from? This is very important. Money laundry is something, it's, it's a thing of, of the past. The UAE is making a huge effort to, to, to be very strong on, on transparency. So now you really need to evidence where your funds are coming from. The most difficult is to make it in. Once you're, you are in, once your funds are in the UAE, life becomes a little bit simpler, but it's very important that you are able to, uh, to link your funds. And it's legitimate. You can say, hey, uh, I put $2,000 back in 2013 on Bitcoin, and guess what? The rest is history, right? But it's okay, crypto is fine. And this is, a, this is a challenge we face nowadays a lot. That's fine, it's legitimate, but you need to prove that it comes from crypto. Where is your wallet? How do you make the link to your wallet, etc. So we have our profile, who we are, where does our money, ca ca where does our money come from? We have our IDs. It's very important to have a residence in the UAE. A company will need license and will need the ID of the manager of the company. This is very important. Without that, you won't be able to, to proceed. Hey, it's also possible that you bought a property a few years back uh, or last month or yesterday, and you will need to make payments of uh, service charge. You will need to make, uh, also you will need to collect you will need to collect the rent. So banks will be willing to open a bank account for you even if you are not a resident, if there is a link, if there is a reason, like usually real estate is. Very important otherwise that you are a resident, that you have a visa. Without it, mm, impossible unless again there is a link. How do we continue? Yeah. So once we have the profile prepared, we can present it to different banks. We have the traditional banks where you go and you submit the, the information physically, let's say. Then we have banks in the UAE but operate digitally. Usually they target a lower profile of, of clients. Then we also have international digital banks. This may be an issue when you need by your free zone or authority, you are obliged to submit, to deposit the social capital. International banks are usually a little bit of a challenge, but doable as well if you present it right. When do we want to go to, to an international bank or digital international banks? Usually when we deal with crypto because UA banks are difficult. Today, are not touching them too much. There are things moving, as you may know, uh, VARA was announced uh, one month ago. VARA is gonna be the authority that is going to regulate digital assets. And as part of this, they are going to start implementing changes because uh, the reality is that you can open uh, a company relatively easy on crypto, NFTs, etc., metaverse, etc. But banking is the challenge today. So something must 
happen in order to take the UAE to the next level in terms of uh, holding digital assets. Yeah. Each bank, even we, we are talking about four different blocks of types of banks. Within each block, the different banks have different requirements. So it's very important that when you choose to which banks you are going to present the applications, you know where you fit better. Some banks will ask you without any sort of negotiation that you have a physical office. And hey, they will not accept flexi office agreement. Hey, if you have that, it's possible. There are other banks where you are going to fit, but we need to know where you fall. And if you fall here or there, see if we have everything. And if you don't have everything, what can we do to mitigate what you don't have at earliest and also without a significant uh, cost? Yeah, because if I tell you, no, set up a new company from scratch, that wouldn't be a proper solution, right? So the idea is that we see where you are and how do we improve you to get you out of the, of the problem of not having a bank account, to pay salaries, to pay things locally, you need it. So that's the situation. We need to know who you are, where does your money come from, prepare a nice brochure about you to present it to the banks see where you are see where you want to be at the fastest and at the lowest possible money pain and get you there and then making different applications at the same time to get you up and in operations as soon as possible so it's very important you can have the company set up relatively quickly but if you don't have a bank account your operations are going to have an impact yeah so what you want to do is you want to start as soon as possible and I'm making this video because expectations are very important obviously we can compromise and we do it all the time to do things as fast as we can but we cannot compromise and no one should compromise the actions of others that by that i say that you cannot say that the bank will open in the days because it's not under your control so patient you will get it everyone will get it but you need to know where you are and you need to do a little bit of planning thank you so much if you enjoyed the video if you learned a little bit please do like it please do subscribe please do follow me in social media so you get to new videos as soon as they are out and share questions with uh, with me i'll be very happy if you uh, have questions about how to do business in the uae in the middle east if you have questions about how to be like a career on international law, shoot me a, a, a question. I'm sure others will find it of interest as well. Thank you very much.